Hey there YouTube. This afternoon when I was out yard sailing I picked up this uh, Super Tramp Crime of the Century original master recording LP from 1978. Even though the album itself debuted in 1974. And I only paid a dollar for it and it came with the original baggie that fits on the cover even though it has a couple holes in it. And it says half speed mastered super high fidelity limited edition 1978 mobile fidelity sound lab. Ultra high fidelity audiophile recording, Lowry's Discount Records. Of course, it had a price tag, but the price tag is wore off. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how much whoever paid for this LP back then. And here's the flip side of it. And I removed the baggie. And the cover is in decent shape. It has decent color, but um, the edge is starting to split. The material used for this cover is the type that uh, 60s LPs used, that uh, brown type cardboard, which, which explains why it's splitting. And I'll remove the LP out of its uh, cover. The LP is in decent shape. I rated it very good plus plus. Um, it looks nice. It has a good shine. But there's um, a couple imperfections in it, or a few imperfections in it. Uh, which keeps it from being near mint. It's got some spindle marks. Um, whoever owned this LP before me uh, took good care of it properly by placing it in its uh, sleeve. Of course, this one is vinyl or, uh, or a baggy type sleeve. And this LP itself was pressed in Japan. It wasn't pressed in the United States. As you see here, uh, this label is more fine printed compared to the US version of A&M. And I played this on my turntable today after cleaning it and I was surprised how flat this thin vinyl was. Usually um, I pick when I pick up vinyl like this, the thin types, uh, there's usually um, a little bit of warpage on it, but this one is, fat, is very flat. Uh, usually the 60s LPs, the thicker ones, are the flattest, but the thinner LPs is kind of hard to find uh, totally flat ones. Usually they got a little bit of warpage, but this one I was surprised how flat it was. For a thin type LP um, there was no tone arm jumpage on it or anything. It was very flat. It was perfect. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I don't know if I'm going to resell it or keep it. I might just keep it. Um, it doesn't have much of a good resale price. Um, under 30 bucks. So, so for what I paid for it, I got a pretty good deal. And that concludes this video. Bye.